Good morning. Good morning, sir. Very good. Now, uh, first of all, my thanks to go to Comrade Raj Singh Dhankar for having invited me to this, um, to chair the first session. Um, I was very enthused when the lights were off and they remained off till I came on the table because it gave me a feeling that one sees only in um, either the annual Bollywood Awards uh, where the lights remain off till the, till the most admired and youngest of uh, actresses comes from behind the curtains <laughs> in order to put up a dance performance. So I thought it is not wrong on the part of Tamri to think that I am as good looking as one of those. Shakal to achi hai. When the lights came on, I could see all of you. All right, this is uh, something that has been our bread and butter. I was in the White till 2011, not 2012. And additional DG, Natarajan, who is now commanding the <coughs> Western region of the Coast Guard. Uh, we've both seen what happened on 26-11, and you've seen that this is the 10th anniversary which was, which was just passed four days ago. Uh, and it is a sad commentary on a country which is so progressive like ours that things haven't taken the shape that they should have insofar as the administration in the coastal states and four, nine coastal states and four union territories should have. A lot has happened, there is no doubt. Ten years is too long a time after an assault of the kind that we saw in 26-11 to have coordination amongst all coastal states and union territories at the same level with the same threshold that was desired. So it is a very topical subject that is going to be discussed just now. But just to give you a short insight, time is very short, we have started late and therefore I won't take too much time, that we pride ourselves in telling the rest of the world in conferences and in papers to say we have a land border of a length of 15,000 kilometers, such an impressive figure. And therefore, and just therefore, we have had to have such a long-standing army. But the kind of noise that the Navy and the Coast Guard kept making all the while right up to 2008 was to say, please don't forget 7,516 kilometers of our coastline is much worse in so, in, in so far as challenges are concerned. It is, that is why we call the coastal frontiers as the most porous in the world. And why do we say that? Firstly, it is not easy at sea, even in good visibility, to separate wheat from chaff in a country where there are 250,000 or more, perhaps, as ADG Natarajan will tell you, fishing boats which are registered, God knows how many more remain unregistered. In a country where most of those fishermen are like subsistence farmers, you cannot really pick out who's doing what with what intent. <coughs> So we all have to put our hands together and the best feet forward in order to make sure that every kind of an incident that may be suspected to have some possibility of happening anywhere on the coastline is preempted and avoided rather than taking it on after anybody lands on shore. So, I, with these words, I would uh, like to hand over this very important session to ADG Natarajan, our ComCG best, who will uh, tell you uh, what has happened and what should be the way ahead in so far as coastal security is concerned. Thank you.